take a look at this flower horn right here. This guy is so beautiful, man. Look at those colors. He'll follow your hand and he'll even stick his head out of the water. Man, this guy is so cute. Look at that. And there's one more flower horn over here, actually. This guy's a little bit smaller. And he'll follow your hand, too, even faster. Look at that. Man, really nice. I really want a flower horn someday. So we're here at Qianhu Fish Farm and today we're just taking a look at the ornamental fish side. This is a fish gallery um, and they've got so many fish tanks in here. I can't show you every single one because there's just too many to look at and there's more outside which I want to take a look at too. So let's try and take a look at the more interesting stuff and let's get straight into this. So that's the entrance of the Qianhu Fish Gallery. We'll go in there in just a while. Over there in that little building area you've got some aquarium and pet accessories and then here you've got some of these i think these are are these fiberglass or concrete i think these are concrete ponds uh, with some koi and goldfish in here let's go and take a look inside now uh, so beside you'll see some goldfish these are pretty large tanks i think they're like 10 foot or more so when we walk in you'll see two tanks here and these tanks have some stingrays in them these are pretty expensive stingrays right here. These are the pearl rays with the albino jeans in them. And you can see they look really, really beautiful. And then over here you've got some marble motoros. This guy is just swimming against the glass. Got an albino pleco in there too. So let's go and take a look at each section and I'll try to show you guys some of the more interesting fish because if we look at every tank, it, it'll probably take us a few hours. Uh, so we've got some little ranchus here, they're not so little. And they've got many sizes, you see these ones are little, these ones are smaller. Really cute ranchus, some larger ones. You've got ryukins as well and orandas, red cap orandas here. many different varieties so this looks like the goldfish section and I bet you there's more goldfish somewhere uh, like over there I think I see some goldfish that we'll take a look at do you guys know what this is I've seen this a lot but I, I've never gotten to know the name of that and it doesn't say some of the tanks don't have their names written down take a look at this balloon Albino Congo Tetras. What, what do you guys think about balloon fish or um, short body fish? I like some types, but I'm not a huge fan of like, say, German blue rams, the balloon types. And then here you've got balloon uh, rainbow fish. For some reason, I like the balloon rainbow fish. I'm not so sure why. Like, they kind of look cute. I've seen a balloon Bosmani rainbow fish. I'll put a picture right here. And that, that really looks beautiful. Here's some normal Bosmani rainbow fish. They're still young, so they don't have much color on them. But as these fish grow bigger, they'll look really stunning in your tank, especially if it's a planted tank. So here you've got some goldfish. Here's the two flower horns that we started off with. Uh, so. Yeah, let's go and take a look at this section. Now, this fish, definitely one of my favorite fish if I were to have a South American biotope tank. These are festivums, I think they're called, and man, they are just beautiful. They'd be perfect in an Amazon biotope tank. Down there, you've got some elephant fish. They're called the elephant fish because of their long nose. And uh, what else do we have? So now we've got some discus here. A pretty nice looking discus. There's more over there we'll take a look at. These look like golden or yellow ones. Some larger frontosas. I saw smaller ones earlier, so I know that these are a little larger. And then you've got some red discus. This type of red discus. Assorted discus, there's a lot of different types, so it's good. And down here you've got some of this catfish. 
I think these will grow big. And some blue discus here. Look at the blue coloration on these discus. I've never kept discus before. Maybe one day I'll try. This guy is beautiful. I love the white coloration. Kind of looks pink because of a light. There's a pink light up above. Let's take a look at the next section. So over here you've got some buckets if you want to catch fish. Um, you just grab a bucket, get some water, get a net there. So in this section you've got some African cichlids. It looks like assorted African cichlids. Man, these are really nice. I used to know more about African cichlids, but I kind of forgot um, as, as I got older. When I was younger, I was really into them. My biology teacher actually had African cichlids in his tank, in his room, so I really got interested in them. These are albino, uh, are these Neolamprologus brochardi or something? I'm not so sure. But they're really beautiful. My favorite thing about African cichlids is their color. As, as they get older, the colors really intensify and it's beautiful. Check that out. There's some Endly Cherry Vichers. They're still young, so they're really small. Polyteris Endly Cherry. Thinking of getting a larger type of this for my Arowana tank. Some Dubosai. Now let's go and take a look at this side. So over here, what are these? Assorted cichlids. I'm not so sure what it's called because it just says assorted cichlid. Uh, you've got more African cichlids here. These are Cuban cichlids, I think. You can see some of the tanks have their names on. So Cuban cichlids, you've got smaller, um, smaller frontosas right here check out these little frontosas right here these are really unique they're not your ordinary frontosas with the five stripes but man check out that pattern it's really cool these are really beautiful i love that yellow color and the blue together and then up here you've got some yellow labs oh wait are those guys holding it looks like they're holding some babies in them, or eggs, I'm not so sure. Let me know in the comments down below. Are these yellow labs holding? That's so cool. So what do we have over here? Oh, so over here we've got some electric blue rams. The tank, uh, the lights on this tank are turned off. But you can see how bright that color is the electric blue coloration it's amazing uh, what else got more electric blue ramps slightly larger ones here these wow really really gorgeous you've got some balloon ones I'm not so into the balloon rams I just they look too round for me and what else what else what else over here you've got more ramps this time you've got the balloon electric blue ram and here you've got some more and then over here there's some hatchet fish up there these are little silver dollars you can see they like to school together some tinfoil barbs down below. Albino tinfoil barbs. Those ones there are normal tinfoil barbs. Take a look at these albino pakus. Man, these guys are small now, but they will get really big. Some striped silver dollars. These are one of my favorites. The stripes on them just look really cool. Some red spotted severums right here. And 
larger silver dollars. All right, so we've got another section over here. Oh, so these are the flower horn sections. Look at this. Man, this guy's hump looks like it's swollen. It's so large. Let's see, will this guy follow? Oh yeah. Okay, nice. Got some golden giant guramis. Look at this. Man, there's a whole bunch of them. Some larger ones. You can see it says golden giant gurami. Flower horn. This guy's nice looking. I like flower horns that have a really strong red coloration here. For some reason, I'm not sure why. You can see this guy's like a yellowish flower horn. Some more flower horns there. So this looks like a flower horn section. Look at this one. Can we follow my finger? Yeah. <laughs> you can play around with it. So cute. Oh, take a look. Black diamond stingrays. This must be a pair. Right here. They're still young, though. Man, these must be really expensive. Black diamond stingrays. Here's another pair. They're so beautiful. I love the white spots on them. And if you want to know the scientific name, here you go. So we've got one more wall of tanks over here. Let's take a quick look at this. So, a flower horn right here. Really nice. This guy has some nice blue coloration. He won't let me take a look at the side of his body. He just wants to face front. Uh, man, I'm not so sure what this is. See, it says here, Jin Kang Kai Shen. If you know the English name for this fish, definitely let me know. Looks like a, some kind of parrotfish, probably a, a cross or something. This one as well, the Jin Kang Kai Shen. Could it be like what they call the King Kong parrotfish? I'm not too sure. And then these here are the Aba Aba. Let's see, it says Aba Aba. Some blackberry hooks. Man, beautiful. And then you've got guppies all the way. Let's take a look at some of them. So these are just assorted guppies. Females, it looks like. These are really nice looking. And some albino sky blue males here. We haven't taken a look at the wall at the very back, so let's go and take a look. Alright, so this wall here has some really interesting fish. Um, look at this. Some ranchus again, so there are more goldfish, as I said earlier. And take a look at this, this is what I wanted to show you. The frontosa right here. This is called the Black Widow Frontosa. Man, it looks really unique. Amazing. I'm not so sure what this is. It looks like a red snook. It says assorted cichlids, so I'm not too sure. But I think it's called the red snook. Here you've got some short body albino Congo tetras. And here's another one of those black widow frontosas. Looks really nice. And some ranchus, oh no, sorry, not ranchus, some goldfish, uh, orandas maybe, I'm not too sure. And take a look at this guy, this guy is looking really good. I love the yellow color finnage. Some ryukin. Ryukin are really nice. And then you've got the goldfish. 
What was your favorite fish in this gallery? Mine were those Black Widow Frontosas, those little ones. They were so cool and they're just so unique. If I had an African cichlid tank, I'd definitely have some of those in there. Um, they grow big, so you need some space for them. If you're new to this channel, definitely hit the red subscribe button down below. And I will see you next time.